Why is your shirt shorter than hers? That's all I want to know. <laughs> all my sexy ladies, make some noise! <laughs> okay, what happened back there? Y'all got low self-esteem over there by Nick Cannon? I said sexy, they was like, we decent. We are so decent. <laughs> Wait till he get to the decent <laughs> It's our turn! And I see my thick girls out here. Yeah, thick girls make some noise. Okay, what happened? It is way more thick women here than that. Don't let these skinny in here intimidate you. If you a thick girl, you sit next to a skinny girl, punch that in the throat. You hear me? Like that. We gonna have fun. This is Rip Michael. We gonna turn up leather shirt. You gonna be sitting there looking like that. Get my little shirt right here. You must be Haitian. I can tell. That's right? right there. He's like, don't start your with me, Rip Michael. I like this, because women rule the world. Let me explain something to you, fellas. I see you got your girl right there. I can tell, sir. This little girl, he's like, yeah, you know, we've been together for a minute, I can tell. She put that sweatsuit on you. She's like, baby, wear your sweatsuit. You look good. She made you wear that tight-ass sweatsuit, because no other girl gonna want you in that That's what women do. I'm gonna tell you something. Take it from Rip Michaels. Rule number one, fellas, don't cheat, okay? Just be honest. Just be honest. It's better to be honest. Because you need to realize women are smarter than you, okay? I've got caught cheating in every fashion, sir. Don't do it, okay? Rule number one, fellas, is don't leave your cell phone around a woman. I don't care where you go, take it in the shower, put that shit in a Ziploc bag and tie it to your nuts. You hear me? <laughs> women will unlock your voicemail codes. I'm telling you right now, if she can't do it, look at these women right here. That ain't nothing but a CSI team. You see these heifers? They will sit at work all day till they crack it. They'll be like, you've entered the wrong access code. You've entered the wrong access code. You have three new messages. Got it? It was his birthday! I got it! They nice, cause see, women pay attention to your behavior patterns. They smart. They know everything you do. They gangster with theirs, you see me? Women will let you tell a bold-faced lie just to see your lie face so they know what it look like. Okay, when they lie, his eye come up, his head turn to the side, he full of crap. That's how nice they are. I'm telling you right now, sir, but see, fellas, listen to me. Women know what we do. They know we put guys' names under girl names in our phones. Stupid. They know each one of us do that. They know Dan is Daniqua. They're not stupid. But see, women are smart. Women don't care about their phone. Like, so you sit next to your girl right now. You can ask her for a phone. Ask her. She'll give it to you. She'll be like, here you go. You can call anybody in that phone you want to. First of all, that you're the only one that's cheating because that's how you get down. You ain't Jerome. That's how they are. They would even leave their phone in their purse there so you could go through it. They'd be like, I'm going to the bathroom. My purse and my phone gonna be right here. They'd be looking at you like, dumbass. He ain't gonna find nothing he need. <laughs> See, women are smart. Let me tell you a secret, fellas. Women don't put guys' names on the girl names on their phone. Women put guys' names on the stuff you never think about, like gynecologist, daycare, dentist. I'm telling you, if you look through a girl's phone and you see a daycare with two Ds in it, that's big <laughs> down from Wild and Out, punch this <laughs> in the throat. She is cheating on you, sir. <laughs> fellas, we don't have real friends. We have, we have guys we hang out with, sir. You ain't got no real friend. You don't. You don't have no real friends. You get in trouble, your friend ain't got your back. Women have ride or die friends, you hear me? If any of these girls gonna cheat, they gonna huddle up, get with their girl. They be like, okay, remember that guy from the taping? Yes, I'm going out with him. What I need you to do is pay attention because you f***ed this up last time, okay? I'm gonna park my car in your driveway. You leave your car parked around the corner. I'm gonna climb out your bathroom window, okay? Now when Kareem call you, don't pick up because he crazy as what you do is you text me, you click me when he called back, and I'm gonna act like I was sleeping all night. Let's go. <laughs> fellas, you ain't got no best friend. You call your boy, fellas. First of all, we don't even start getting our story together at 5 o'clock in the morning. We call a homeboy, be like, Lo, look, if Keisha call you, tell I was with you all night. He be like, uh, Keisha called four hours ago. <laughs> you be like, what'd I tell her? Uh, that I ain't seen your ass. What'd you think I told her? <laughs> now you gotta ride around all night so you can get a hospital bracelet so you can go to home. I'm the only person that ever got a hospital bracelet so you can go home? Okay. It's an excuse, fellas. See, women are planned, okay? Fellas, we crack under pressure. That's what we do. By nature, we crack. Let any guy in here. You could be sitting next to your girl, right? If your side chick came in here, sir, you'd be nervous as <laughs> You'd be trying to hide, go outside, go to the bathroom, come back in, speak to Nick Cannon. I'm telling you. Yo, d Ray, you got a song? That's what you be trying to do. Women are gangster as <laughs> You hear me? A woman could be in here with her husband. Let her side dude come in here. She not gonna get nervous. She not gonna get frantic. She not gonna get up. Women are so gangster with they they will introduce you to the guy. They be like, James, this is Todd. Todd, this is James. Remember that job I told you about? That's the guy that's hiring. <laughs> I like this crowd, because we got a couple ratchet women in here. I see that. 
Got a couple clatchet women. That's a Rip Michael word. That's when you classy and ratchet at the same time. I call it clatchet. <laughs> Ladies know what I'm talking about. Some of you sitting next to your friend right now. She ain't, she ain't ratchet, she clatchet. That's classy and ratchet at the same time. Let me explain it to you, right? She got a Michael Coors watch on with rainbow boots. That's clatchet. <laughs> Understand that? Uh, <laughs> you got an air mattress with Versace sheets. That's clatchet. <laughs> it's not Versace, Versace, Coleman, Versace. You got a Louis Vuitton purse with a rush card inside. That's clutching. <laughs> you got $500 worth of Remy Weave in your head, but your transmission is slipping. That's clutching. How you care more about your head than your head gasket? Get your life together. That's clutching. <laughs> Fellas, you seen clutching. She got a sexy Instagram picture, but she in a dirty room. That's clutching. Mm -hmm. You be like, look at that fat ass mouse in the background. Is that a Prada purse on the glue trap? What the f <laughs> Get your life together. Ridiculous. Anybody ever had their soul bruised? Yeah, everybody here had their soul bruised. That's when your mama hit you so hard for 10 seconds you can't make no sound. <laughs> but when you cry, be in silence and so motion, be like, pop! <laughs> ah! Ah! Your mama like, you better shut up! Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You ever cry so long you get the hiccup? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. get my ass beat. This is just me or when your mother become a grandmother. That's not the same person. It is not the same person. I can't even yell at my daughter in front of my mom with her losing my. She's like, don't you yell at the baby. I'm like, wait a minute. Ain't you the same that pushed me off the roof? You think you're slick. You, God seen what you did. You don't teach ABCs with a cigarette. <laughs> ABC. <laughs> Fellas, let me explain something to you. This show is cool, but don't, don't get caught into this whole rap thing. They got this whole rap thing talking about making it rain and ain't tricking if you got it. This is stupid. All right? Throwing money up in the air and just walking away is the stupidest thing I've ever seen in my entire life. Don't fall victim to that. All right? I was at a club in Atlanta. Young Jeezy come in. I'm just Rip Michaels. I'm not Young Jeezy, all right? I'm just Rip, all right? Young Jeezy come in. We in Magic City threw $30,000 in the air. 5000 landed on me. I am not rich. I am not Nick Cannon, and I am not D-Rick. With $5,000 laying on me, I'm half Spanish, half West Indian, okay? I did what we supposed to do. Take that shit, okay? <laughs> <laughs> do you know the strippers called an attitude? They was like, that's our money. How you picking up our money? I was like, he was looking at me. <laughs> she was like, no, he wasn't. I was like, why was he yelling out? R.I.P. R.I.P. <laughs> If you guys want to see more Wild and Out videos, click right here and be sure to click that subscribe button so you don't miss any of the craziness we got going down. Hit that subscribe button right over here.